Um, we had this great opportunity because of my grandfather's uh, uh, legacy, right? That all the work he had put into the to La Aurora and the industry, that all the contr contributions he's made, um, not only as a cigar, uh, I'm sorry, tobacco grower, but also as a leader in the community, as mayor of, of um, the region. Um, so because of all that, we were given this opportunity to launch with a legacy stick. So what that gave us was a grace period, time to really focus and hone in on the blending um, um, process uh, alongside Manuel Inoa while we, we let the legado, uh, the 14-year-old cigar, circulate the market. We pushed it hard uh, as much as we could just to just for, for brand recognition, right? Just to get the name yeah. buzzing. Like, what is this company that's coming out with a legacy stick and it's amazing, yada, yada? Because I wanted to build enough hype and buzz so that then – when PCA 23 rolls around the following year, people go, okay, what are they debuting, right? Um, and it was, it was man, it, that was the true testament, I believe, to what we have to offer because it was going to be our, what I consider our real true launch, right?